February 13th, Happy Death Day to You is coming out. It's PG-13. It's an hour and 40 minutes long. What did you think of the trailer, Aaron? Uh, well, for me, like I had never seen the original one. It just wasn't a story that I was drawn to. But the trailer, actually, uh, even though it told me the literal ending of the last movie, kind of, I mean, it looks like a really fun movie. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to see the movie. Yeah, I, I didn't. So I, I also didn't see the first one. Um, but the, the trailer for this one looks really interesting. I don't know. I wonder how exhausting that is going to be because going from having them do, you know, going in a loop and them dying over and over and over, it's a happy death day to you. Um, seems like it could be a bit much. Like, I think it could be cool for the first 30 minutes. But I could see how it could run out of steam really quick. Well, did you did you see Groundhog Day? Yes, I, I know it's. I know they're going to be night and day, but I mean, with the same style premise. I mean, you know, in the trailer, it shows her killing herself in various different ways because she's having a reset because she's trying to save all of her friends. Yeah, it just looks funny to me. Yeah, well, so this, I think the first one, she, it's only her. But in right. this one, it's also her friends. If her friends die, then they get reset as well, which is interesting to have that so many different layers. But I don't know how much information goes back. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I think it's just her. I think it's just her. Just her. So like, so basically, she's still resetting, but like she, she this time the killer's not just coming after her. She, the killer's coming after her friends. So you know, like if her boyfriend gets killed, then she's gonna jump off a building because. There's no point in continuing that day because he's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, this one I think is a stream for me. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll go to the theaters. I don't even think it's going to make it here to my town. Um, but probably not. I would probably stream it. Although I say that with knowing the first one exists and I don't have any desire to stream that one right now. So it's kind right. of a, a weird, like it, I'm interested in it, but I'm not really. It's like the low end of interested. Right. Well, I mean, for me, like, because uh, I have interest in this one, kind of like uh, I had like zero interest in seeing any of the Fast and the Furious movies. And uh, whenever I found out The Rock was going to be, I think, the fifth one. Yeah. Uh, I, just because I wanted to know the storyline going backwards, I actually went back and watched. I was told to watch the first and the fourth one and forget the second and the third one. So... The th- uh, I, I same way with this one. So you didn't see like the I second would, and third Fast and the Furious? No, no. I heard that they were terrible. They're not terrible. I would say we did the ranking. We went through all of them. Four, five, and six are worse than one, two, and three. You say four, five, and six? Yeah. Those are like my favorite ones. The, well, those are worse than one, <laughs> two, and three, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> no. That's 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 the point of the series, though. Is the Fast and the Furious are completely out of. I know, I know we're going a completely different direction than this horror movie, but the Fast and the Furious movies are are meant to be so over the top. That's why this new uh, Hobbs and Shaw movie. Oh, I, so the trailer for it looks so awesome. Yeah, I, I'm excited for Hobbs and Shaw. I love. I, that's why I like like Fast and Furious because it's so crazy. But the director right. for four, five, and six was doing weird stuff like trying to make it more artsy than um than it needed to be and didn't didn't follow any logic to any of the choices that he made he was just kind of his his directing style was like ah it doesn't matter we don't need to explain why this happens we'll just do it and the audience right. will that's, go to along me, with to me it. that's to me that's like the epitome of a fast and furious movie <laughs> you, know, you know when you walk into a movie none of it's going to make sense there's going to be a ton of action mm. and then the bad guy's going to lose at the end of the movie. Yeah. Which is fair, but I, I still think one, two and three is better than four, five and six, but then seven and eight are the top. Are the, right. the best ones. Which, which one had like the longest, uh, five. takeoff runway. <laughs> I think it was five. Yeah. I think it was five. Maybe it was seven, yeah. six. I remember, I remember when that thing became a meme and it, someone did the logic of how long that runway actually was. It's like 12 it miles. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. It must have been one of the later ones because Giselle, or um, the lady who plays Wonder Woman, her name's Giselle in the, the show. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. 
she uh, she dies in that. Spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah, I remember I was sad because she was what the I think she was the, wasn't she the only attractive woman in I think so. I mean, when she it, when she died, I think that was it. I I don't but, know. It depends on how you feel about uh you know Han. He's pretty good looking. That long hair. Oh dude, Han is my favorite, bro. <laughs> Never mind. I can't make those jokes. But no, uh, my podcast can't make the joke. <laughs> uh happy death day to you. Will you see it? See, uh stream it, skip it. I uh I'll say stream it. Stream it, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. Stream. The low end of stream it almost there's like it won't take much to push me one way or the other. I'm like right on the line. Right. Kenton says skip it. Yeah. Or but, more I mean, if 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 push come to shove, I will probably never see this movie because I'll forget about it because it's not it's not on my important scale. But if you if you put it in front of me and you're like, hey, you should watch this movie, I'd probably watch it. Yeah. If it was right in front of me. All right. Well, let us know if you've seen the trailer, if you're excited for this movie, if you've seen the first one, if you think it's any good or not. That I think that's kind of what would help me decide. If people really like the first one, then I'll probably go back and watch it. If people don't like it, I think it's just going to be more of the same. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll be back with our next uh, trailer.